Hi, my name is Kristen and this is Kristen Craves Books. I have been waiting to film this video for what feels like weeks and it's probably weeks now because I was asked by Eric from Break Even Books to co-host the Reindeer Readathon. I announced this a week or two ago. I will leave that video down below if you want to know more details about the readathon, but I am the host of Team Stocking and that is really, really exciting. And uh, the Discord is so active, it is so much fun. So if you want to really get into the holiday spirit, I recommend joining the readathon, joining the Discord. There's a lot of great conversations happening there. By the time I'm posting this, I know you'll still have a few days left to sign up. That's why I want to get this out before then. The last day to sign up is November 30th. So I'm just gonna go through my TBR. This is definitely subject to change because I am a mood reader. I tried to get as many holiday romances on here as I could and have a few other books I need to read. So let's just get right to it. And I'm really leaning into this team stocking thing. This is my stocking. It is more of a bag, like Santa sack, but just go with me on this. This is my stocking and I am gonna store my TBR in here all December and leave it under my tree. I just thought it'd be fun. And so I'm just gonna pull them out of this bag and show you them and tell you what prompt they work for and tell you a little bit about the book. And I'm hoping to vlog a little bit throughout December. We will see how consistent I am with that and I do want to post more in December. I cannot commit to book miss. I just am not that organized. I don't have that many ideas I can pump out that quickly, but I'm so excited for everybody else's book miss. I'm going to, I'll probably share some throughout the month on my community tab of people that I know that are doing book miss and videos that I find. I just live for December. So yeah, so I'm excited to share my TBR with you. The first prompt is Dasher, and that is to finish a series or to pick up a book that you started and never finished. And if neither of those work for you, you can also read like a short story or a novella. And I went with The Oleander Sword by Tasha Suri. This sort of counts for finishing a series because if I read this, I'm caught up. This is a second book in a trilogy, but the third book doesn't come out until next August. I believe. So to me that counts. I'm caught up on a series. But it also works because I read the first couple chapters when this first came out in August and just put it down because I was more into like my summer reads at that time and I knew I needed to really sit with this one and now I am ready for it. This is the sequel to The Jasmine Throne which was one of my favorite books of last year and it's one of the ones that really pushed me out of my comfort zone with fantasy. So I love it for that. I have nostalgia for that. Tasha Zuri is an incredible writer. The first book is following a captive princess and a maidservant and they become like unlikely allies in this world where the princess's brother is trying to take over. And there's a lot that happens in that. There is hints of a romance between the two of them as well. So I hope that develops further in this one. And I'm just ready to be back in this world to see what happens from here, be back with these characters, be back with Tasha series writing. So really excited that I was able to get this onto my TBR. The next prompt is Dancer and that is to read a book that has a flowery, elegant, cursive font on the cover and I went with Talk Santa to Me by Linda Urban. I would say the Santa on this is cursive and elegant and just pretty. And this is a YA holiday romance and I think it's going to be super cheesy but the cheesier the better for me in every form of media when it comes to Christmas. I want cheesy books. I want Hallmark Christmas romances. Give me all the cheesy vibes. That is what I'm looking for. So that makes me really excited about this one. And I often find a lot of holiday romances don't really lean into the Christmas and holiday season as much as I would like. It's just okay. It happens to be taking place over Christmas time or the holiday period, but it's not really important to the story. This one I think is gonna like Christmas overload and I want that. I think that could be a turn off for some people, but that is what I want. Our main character is Francie, but her real name is Frankincense <laughs> and she was actually born in the stable and it's the stable at her family's holiday shop and her grandpa who created this holiday shop has passed away and her aunt is taking over and making all these changes that just are not going to work. It's going to be a detriment to the holiday spirit. It's not as traditional. She's bringing like Hollywood Santas and stuff. And she's really determined to save the holiday shop and then ultimately save Christmas. And I think she has a bit of a romance with 
somebody that works at the Christmas tree farm next door. So just sounds fun. I don't expect this to be groundbreaking. That is not what I want. I want this to be Christmas overload, cute, cheesy fluff. That is what I want and that is what I hope I get with Talk Santa to me and just everything about this cover and the title is just too perfect. Next is Prancer and that is to read a book that has your favorite season on the cover or has the colors of your favorite season on the cover and I had the perfect book for this because I needed to read this. And this is A Touch of Light by Thiago Abdallah. I talked about this in my last video, I think, or a couple videos ago, that I am reading the Spiffbow finalists along with covers with Cassidy and some other bookish friends that she got together to read the finalists. And this is the one that I have predicted is gonna be my second favorite, even though it's so outside of my comfort zone. And that is because Cassidy loved it so much and I know that has her nervous, but I'm really, really excited about it. And my favorite season is fall. And does this cover get more fall? It was just too perfect. And yeah, so this is, it's more epic fantasy than I normally read, but I think it's gonna be a good one. And it says, how far would you go to resurrect someone you love? Would you change who you are to show you belong? And this is a epic fantasy saga where religion and politics are one. Magic brings terror into the hearts of men and a looming blight threatens to tear everything down. And a lot of people that I trust and would say have similar reading taste to have really enjoyed this. I know that there are griffins in here, so that makes me more excited about it. And it's just, it's so fall, so I have to read it and I'm excited about it. The next prompt is Vixen and that is to read a book that you really want to read but you think might be overhyped. And I went with A Merry Little Meet Cute by Julie Murphy and Sierra Simone. I would say like this is the holiday book of the year. The book that everybody's talking about. I think a lot of people will read this in December. It's just getting a lot of hype right now. And historically the really hyped holiday romances have not worked for me. Like last year was it The Holiday Swap? I didn't love that. I didn't love um, In Holidays by Christina Lauren either. Or One Day in December. I've tried to read that many times. I can never get through it. So the ones that are really hyped really work for me. And I think that is this one this year. But I have high hopes for this one because I already love Julie Murphy. Watched a interview with these two authors. And they are hilarious together. And they have a really fun friendship. So I hope that translates into this story. And the setup of this one just sounds so different in that our main character is like an adult star. I think she really she has an OnlyFans page and she gets somehow um, casted to film like a Hallmark Christmas movie. And the male lead is an ex-boy band star that she had a crush on growing up and he also happens to subscribe to her page. So he knows who she is and they obviously have a romance. So I think my hopes are still high for this. I think because it sounds so different and fun and unique that it might break that curse that I've had with the past popular holiday romances. So here's hoping. Next up is Comet and that is to read a book with an astrological word in the title. So sun, moon, star, planet. I know a lot of people are doing ice planet barbarians for this. But I settled on Heart of the Sun Warrior by Sulin Tan. This is the sequel to Daughter of the Moon Goddess, which is a book I read earlier this year. Absolutely loved, voted for it for best debut in the Goodreads Awards. I just thought that book was so much fun and did some interesting things and I'm curious to see what happens in the sequel. So I'm really, really excited about this. Pre-ordered a copy, knew that it would be perfect to put on this TBR and it's fun. I've noticed we're getting a lot of duologies this year and we're getting both books in the same year and I love that. So duologies are my sweet spot so I'm excited to be reading this one. Next up is Cupid and that is to read a book with your favorite trope and I like a lot of tropes. Found family, fake dating, enemies to lovers but something I realized I really love is like the one bed trope or forced proximity where two characters that maybe don't like each other too much are forced to be together for some reason and I think that's what we get in How to Excavate a Heart by Jake Maya Arlo because I think these two get snowed in together on Christmas Eve and that just sounds like a lot of shenanigans can happen with that. I think we're gonna get a lot of great banter. There's a corgi, I say this every time, there's a corgi wearing boots. So I know I'm gonna love this and it, it just screams like look at the cover, there's so much snow. I love the idea of them being stuck somewhere from a snowstorm and I think they got off on the wrong foot. I think one of the characters runs over the other one with their car. <laughs> so we'll see, I think this is gonna be a really good one. So yes, that is my pick for Cupid. 
So the Blitzen prompt has been getting a lot of discussion on the Discord because it can be challenging to find a book that works. And for this prompt, you have to use a random number generator. You can just Google it and put in the numbers zero to nine. And whatever number comes up, you have to find a book that ends in that number. And I struggled with this because I'm looking for a specific type of book. I wanted some holiday romances. And then I found Just Like Magic by Sarah Hogle. And I know nothing about this other than it worked for this prompt and obviously it's like a holiday romance and Sarah Hogle is really loved. She wrote You, you Deserve Each Other. I think a lot of people love her and I've never read anything by her before but 337 if that'll focus and the number that I generated was seven. So I went through a lot of holiday romances before I found one that worked but I'm excited that it's this one. I know nothing other than the tagline says the holidays were never a thing until she unwittingly summons the Holy Spirit before her very eyes. So I don't know if the Holy Spirit is actually like a person and this is like a Christmas Carol retelling which I would be down for. So we will see how I feel about that. But it's obviously not very long and I know people like Sarah Hogle so happy to find one that worked. And then of course the last prompt is Rudolph and that is to start a new series which of course, the last thing I should be doing, but I'm down and I found Christmas Baggage on Kindle Unlimited and this is by Deborah M. Hathaway. And this is one of the books, these, and these books are not numbered because they're all written by different authors and it's the Christmas Escape series. So there are a bunch of these Christmas novellas within this series all written by different authors. So you can go through and find one that works for you or calls out to you and I think that's great. So I would love to get to a few of these before Christmas if I can, but my TBR is ginormous. But these are short, they're fun. I can tend to fly through Christmas novellas. So yeah, this just looks cute to me. Obviously set in London, you can see that phone booth there. So yeah, that was a good one. So I did manage to get quite a few holiday romances on here, which makes me happy. So I don't think I'll read more than that in December. I'll be lucky to get to those because obviously December is a really busy month. We're gonna have a lot of reading sprints throughout December for the readathon. We're gonna have a trivia night. We're in discussions of when all that is happening. So we'll announce that soon. Get excited for that, team stalking. Study up for your trivia. I probably need to do that myself, but I'm just really, really excited. There's gonna be prizes and all that stuff. So yeah, I don't know how much reading I'm gonna get done. Obviously I have other Christmas stuff going on throughout the month of December, but I'm determined to get through that stack. I've really been in a reading mood lately. So if you are participating in Reindeer Readathon, tell me your TBRs, link me to your TBRs, get, tell me all the things, what team you are on. If you're not participating, I would just love to know what book you are most excited to read in December. And I thanks for you for your support. As always, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.